So hi everyone and a very good evening to all of you. Welcome back once again to the session of government schemes. In today's session guys, I will bring to you another very important scheme which is called Swamitva. Swamitva scheme as you all know was launched very recently in the year 2020. So you can expect one or two questions from this particular scheme. So let's begin with the session but before we begin if you are coming here for the first time do subscribe to the channel and press this bell icon. You can also join this telegram group and in this telegram group you will find the pdf of this particular session or its link in the description. Its link is given in the description. So let's talk about this scheme which is known as Swamitva and first of all let's do those things uh, let's do those things that we can do effortlessly. First of all, let's talk about the objective. First of all, let's talk about the objective of this particular scheme. So, if you know the full form of this scheme, then you can easily identify the objective of this scheme. What is the full form? Survey of villages, abadi, and mapping with improvised technology in rural areas. This is a correction. This is not of. This is with. Survey of villages abadi and mapping with improvised technology in rural areas is the full form of this scheme which is called Swamitva. Now let's pick up some of the keywords from the full form and then we can easily identify the objective. Number one keyword is survey. So survey ki baat ho hai, they are talking about survey. Matlab the government will conduct some kind of survey in this scheme. Thik hai? Pehli cheez to clear hai. Then they are talking about village abadi. Village abadi means what? Inhabited rural areas, inhabited rural areas, those rural areas which are inhabited, and then they are talking about mapping. So, mapping of what? Definitely, if we talk about the rural areas, then mapping will only be done for for the rural lands. Okay, mapping is ho sakti hai keval keval rural lands ki to ho sakti hai agar rural areas ki baat kar rahe. So, I hope the objective is clear. Now, if we talk about the objective in very simple words. So the government intends to provide the record of rights. The government intends to provide the record of rights to the rural, to the rural household owners. जो भी rural land owners हैं, जो भी ऐसे लोग हैं जिनके पास उनके land का कोई कागज नहीं है, उनको record of rights provide कराए जाएंगे under this particular scheme जिसका नाम है स्वामित्व. And this will be done by demarcation of rural lands. This will be done by demarcation of rural lands. Of course, there is a need of demarcation only then. The record of rights can be provided. The property cards can be provided. So this record of rights guys are provided in the form of a property card. Just me sorry details hoti of that particular property. Just ki baat ki ja hai. All right. So the demarcation of rural lands using a technology which is known as drone surveying technology with the help of this technology. Drone surveying technology, they will do the demarcation of a particular rural land and then uh, identify the ownership, identify the measurement, identify the area and then jo bhi uska owner hoga, that, that person will get the property card for that particular property. Okay, so this is the basic objective of this particular scheme. I hope the objective is clear. The ministry of course is the ministry of Panchayati Raj. I should not tell you this. Ministry of Panchayati Raj hai jo iska implementation kari hai. The nodal ministry is what? The ministry of Panchayati Raj which is currently headed by Mr. Giriraj Singh. His Lok Sabha constituency is Begu Sarai which is in Bihar. And the technology partner. Of course, we are talking about the demarcation using growing surveying technology. Which means there must be a technology partner. And that technology partner is Survey of India. Survey of India guys, if you remember, iske baare man pehle bhi baat kar chuke hain. So it is the oldest scientific organization in the country. It is the oldest scientific organization in the country. It was established by East India Company in the years 1767. Matlab dekho kitna zyada purana hai. Currently it is working under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Okay. Moving ahead to the coverage, all the villages in India will be covered under this particular scheme. Sare villages ki jo land hai, unki mapping ki jayegi and funding. It is a central sector scheme and hence if a scheme is a central sector then 100% funding is provided by the government of India. Okay. Or remember guys, this scheme is very easy. There is no more funding in it. There are 2-4-5 things in it. Then it is finished. There is no more funding in it. And now the things to remember, first of all, you have to remember that the scheme was launched uh, in the year 2020 on the National Panchayati Raj Day. Now can you tell me what is the date of National Panchayati Raj Day? 
write down in the comments when is the national panchayati raj day observed the duration guys for this particular scheme which means the target to complete the mapping of all the rural lands is of 5 years that is up, up to the year 2025 tak isko khatam kar denge ab tum kahoge 2020 ko include kare to 6 saal ho jayenge but nahi pdf mein to dekho aise likha tha 5 saal 2020 se 2025 theek hai तो आई कांट हेल्प इट 2020 से लेके 2025 पांच साल तक का इन्होंने लिखा है कि पांच साल में इसको हम पूरा करेंगे अर्लियर द द ड्यूरेशन वाज फोर इयर्स बट नाउ इन द रिसेंटली लॉन्च गाइडलाइंस द दे हैव इंक्रीज्ड इट टू द फाइव इयर्स राइट टेक्नोलॉजी यूज्ड एज आई टोल्ड यू इट इज द ड्रोइंग ड्रोन सर्वेइंग टेक्नोलॉजी अलोंग विद कंटीन्यूअसली ऑपरेटिंग रेफरेंस स्टेशन कंटीन्यूअसली ऑपरेटिंग रेफरेंस स्टेशन ये क्या है इसके बारे में आगे बात करेंगे व्हेन वी विल डिस्कस द प्रोसेस ऑफ दिस स्कीम Continuously operating reference system course ठीक है इसके बाद उसको दिमाग में रखना इसकी बात करेंगे द बजेटरी एलोकेशन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम इन दिस इयर्स यूनियन बजट गाइज इज रुपीज टू हंड्रेड करोड दो सौ करोड़ रुपए इसको दिए गए हैं नाउ मूविंग अहेड टू द प्रोसेस की क्या प्रोसेस होता है इसमें फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देर इज एन एमओ यू बिटवीन द सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया एंड द रिस्पेक्टिव स्टेट गवर्नमेंट जहां पर भी रूरल लैंड की मैपिंग की जाएगी ठीक है the mou will be signed between the survey of india and their respective state government uh, of where the rural lands will be mapped then village mein awareness create ki jayegi about the mapping about the property cards about the record of rights all right then number 2 pe kya hoga sabse pehle kya hoga mou sign hua and then the government through its various arms will create the awareness regarding the property uh, cards regarding the record of rights regarding the बेनिफिट्स ऑफ मैपिंग इस तरीके के अवेयरनेस क्रिएट की जाएंगी एंड देन यूजिंग द ड्रोन सर्वे इन टेक्नोलॉजी द सर्वे ऑफ इंडिया विल प्रिपेयर द नेशनल टोपोग्राफिक डेटा बेस जिसमें पूरा डिटेल होगा अबाउट दी रूरल लैंड ओके एंड देन दिस नेशनल टोपोग्राफिक डेटा बेस विल बी क्रॉस चेक एंड द रियल टाइम कनेक्शन विल बी प्रोवाइडेड बाई यूजिंग द कोर्स टेक्नोलॉजी जो अभी हमने पीछे पढ़ा ओके सो आई होप द कोर्स टेक्नोलॉजी का जो मतलब है उसका क्लियर है what will it do through this technology we can cross check the data provided by the drone surveying and can also provide the real time correction to that particular data basically it is for checking the uh, efficiency of the data collected by data uh, drone surveying technology okay jo uski efficiency hai jo uski accuracy hai basically usko check karne ke liye then if there is any dispute ab maan lo ki do land thi ठीक है ये दो अलग अलग लैंड्स थी और इनका ड्रोन सर्वे हुआ कोर्स के थ्रू जो डेटा है वो एक्यूरेसी उसकी फाइंड आउट हुई और ये ए को मिला और ये बी को मिला बट बी ने बोला नहीं भाई ये तो इतना है मेरा ठीक है तो ऑब्वियसली ये डिस्पोर्ट तो होएगा ही क्योंकि हमारे देश में तो लैंड एक एक इंच के लैंड के लिए गोलियां चल जाती हैं तो ये तो बहुत बड़ा लैंड हो गया तो अब अगर कोई डिस्प्यूट होता है देन देर विल भी डिस्प्यूट रेजोल्यूशन ठीक है उसके लिए अलग मैकेनिज्म है दैट इज नॉट इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द एग्जाम एंड फाइनली After the resolution of dispute, the property card will be released to the owners. Okay, this process is being followed under this particular scheme. Now, what is the benefit of this scheme? Now, you must be wondering why government is doing this. Government को क्या पढ़ी है? ऐसा करने की क्या फायदा हो रहा है government का इसमें? तो सबसे पहले तो एक बात हमने दिमाग में रखो. Anything which government, any policy, any scheme, any program intends towards the welfare of the citizen of India and not the government of India. Okay, government अपनी भलाई के लिए अपने बेनिफिट के लिए काम करने के लिए वहां लोकसभा या राज्यसभा में या लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबलीज में नहीं बैठी है वो जनता की भलाई करने बैठे हैं ओके सो पहली बात अपने दिमाग से निकाल दो कि सरकार का क्या फायदा है ये शब्द ही गलत है ठीक है कि सरकार का क्या फायदा है ये लाइन ही गलत है तो इसमें बेनिफिट क्या होंगे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्लानिंग में हेल्प होगी नंबर वन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्लानिंग में हेल्प होगी ठीक है ऑफकोर्स वेन द प्रॉपर्टी विल बी प्रॉपरली मेजर्ड एंड दी प्रॉपर्टी कार्ड आर जनरेटेड देन प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स में फायदा होगा एंड दैट विल एड टू द रेवेन्यू ऑफ ग्राम पंचायत ठीक है नंबर टू इज दिस क्रिएटिंग बेटर क्वालिटी ग्राम पंचायत डेवलपमेंट प्लान एंड देन इनेबल रूरल हाउस होल्ड टू यूज देयर प्रॉपर्टी एज ए फाइनेंशियल असेट फॉर हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ लोन फ्रॉम दी फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन ओके वो उस प्रॉपर्टी कार्ड का इस्तेमाल करके उसको घर भी मोटगेज रख सकते हैं और उसके अगेंस्ट में लोग उठा सकते हैं तो ये कुछ बेनिफिट्स हैं ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम तो स्कीम में इतना ही है एक बार जल्दी से रिवाइज कर लेते हैं द Objective guys of this particular scheme is to provide the record of rights to the rural household owners, and this will be done by demarcation of rural lands by using drone surveying technology. The nodal ministry is the Ministry of Panchayati Raj, headed by Mr. Giriraj Singh. 
the technology partner is survey of india the oldest scientific organization in the country the scheme will cover all all the villages in the country by the year 2025 and it is since it is a central sector scheme which means it is 100% funded by the government of india <clears throat> technology is mein do use ho rahi hai drone surveying technology and course and total budgetary allocation for this financial year that is 2021-22 is rupees 200 crores this is the process that they are following and these are the benefits now let's talk about the questions that can be asked in your exam which of the following technology or technologies is being used or are being used in swamitva scheme so course cors course is the correct answer to this question और ये जो जी एन एस एस और ई डी एम है ये इसमें कहीं भी यूज नहीं की जाएंगी अलग टेक्नोलॉजीज होती हैं एंड ऑफ कोर्स वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दीज टेक्नोलॉजीज सी कोर्स इज द करेक्ट आंसर हाउ मच अमाउंट इज एलोकेटेड टू स्वामित्व स्कीम इन यूनियन बजट दो हजार इक्कीस बाईस यूनियन बजट में जितने भी स्कीम्स को फंड अलॉट हुए हैं जो जो हम यहाँ पे पढ़ रहे हैं वो याद रख लेना है यार वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम रुपीज टू हंड्रेड करोर हैज बीन एलोकेटेड फॉर द फाइनेंशियल ईयर टू Moving ahead to question number three, which of the following statements is incorrect with respect to the Swamitva scheme? So let's read out these statements or हमें identify करना है कि कौन इसमें से incorrect है. The scheme was launched in 2020 on National Panchayati Raj Day. This is absolutely correct. The duration of the scheme is five years. This is also correct. The technology partner for the scheme is not ISRO. ISRO नहीं है. कौन है? Survey of India. so this statement is incorrect which means the correct answer guys should be option c but let's read out option d also the nodal ministry for implementation of the scheme is ministry of panchayati raj yes and the mapping will be done through drone surveying technology so guys the correct answer is what option c because this is the only statement which is incorrect here and that's it for the session i hope the scheme is clear if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching milte hain kal ek nayi scheme ke sath goodbye take care and god bless